human growth hormone is important to body mass, strength and performance. But how can you naturally boost your production of human growth hormone? In this video, I'm going to discuss four key herbs and also some tips and tricks to give you the keys to naturally boost your growth hormone. So if you want to learn more about herbs and growth hormone, watch this video. Let's go. It's the hot boy. You may have heard of the GH gut and the GH gut is an extremely enlarged belly in bodybuilders and this tends to be caused or associated with growth hormone abuse when injected into the body. The reason for this abuse and the reason why some bodybuilders go through the trouble of injecting growth hormone in their body is because growth hormone can help build muscle mass boost metabolism and help burn fat, all of which are key things for bodybuilding. But this hormone is produced by the body naturally and it's a hormone secreted by pituitary gland. At different stages of our life, different levels of growth hormone are secreted. For example, in children, a lot more human growth hormone is secreted, helping aid growth and muscular development. And this secretion increases and peaks round about the time of puberty after which it starts to decline with age. This gradual decline tends to happen around the age of 30. And this is the same with testosterone. Both growth hormone and testosterone are potent anabolic hormones that play a big role in protein synthesis, muscle development. So the bodybuilding crew, the games crew, will find this video very interesting because I'll be dropping a lot more keys to benefit you. Also, it's said that testosterone actually enhances the effect of growth hormone. So this is something you might want to bear in mind. Drop a like if that's been beneficial for you so far and drop a comment and let me know. So what exactly is growth hormone? Well, growth hormone is a peptide hormone that stimulates growth, cell reproduction and cell regeneration. It's a very, very key hormone for men and women. So much so that the industry for supplementation and injections is predicted to be worth over 5 billion by 2026. It's a growing market. A lot of people now are seeing the importance of this hormone and that's why videos like this are very important. Guys, if you've had an experience with any particular supplement or anything you've taken to naturally boost your growth hormone levels, comment below and help somebody out. Each one teach one. Knowledge shared is knowledge and power multiplied. Let's go. But before we actually discuss the herbs, as we always do, it's good to go over some things you can do right now to help slow down your growth hormone decline and potentially help you boost it. So here are five things you can do right now to help boost your growth hormone production. The first thing you can do right now is to start fasting. There's two types of fasting. You can do intermittent fasting or you can do more longer timed fast like 24 hours, 48 hours, which is what I tend to do personally. And the reason for this is fasting has been called the secret of anti-aging. It's been shown that fasting can help increase the length of telomeres and telomeres act as the aging clock of every cell. So with that being said, studies show that fasting enhances the growth hormone secretion and amplifies the complex rhythm of growth hormone secretion. But studies also suggest that growth hormone can activate telomerase and telomerase is active in the regeneration of tissue and this can benefit you in helping slow down aging. To cut a long story short, fasting is very beneficial for growth hormone, but it also has a vast amount of benefits. So if you guys want a benefits of fasting with herbs video, comment below and let me know. And I also started a fasting group on Instagram. If you want to join, just follow me at the Dunga book and DM me. We just fast together every once in a while and I provide content to help you guys fast. In short, fasting is very, very good for the natural release of growth hormone. And this can be either intermittent fasting or longer term wet fasting with herbs. The second key thing you can do right now is monitoring your diet. Food plays an important role in growth hormone production. For example, eating refined carbohydrates that spike the blood sugar and lead to an insulin response has been associated with reduced growth hormone levels. So be mindful of the amount of sugar that you're eating throughout the day. But also it's important for growth hormone to be mindful of the time of day that you actually eat. It's been suggested that you shouldn't eat foods 
before bed, up to two hours before you sleep. And this is because your blood sugar spikes and the insulin response could have an effect on the amount of melatonin released during your sleep, but also the amount of growth hormone production during your sleep. But another thing you can do right now in terms of foods is to eat foods that are nutrient dense. Foods high in melatonin, foods high in amino acids like casein, arginine and beta alanine also vitamin d vitamin c and good fats these are all essential to growth hormone production helping the body produce optimal amounts for itself if you want to learn a bit more about nutrients you can also check out my nutrition guide book click the eye over here and you can learn more about where to get some of these foods from especially plant-based sources foods high in nutrients are important for example, one study found that 0.5 milligrams dose of melatonin all the way up to 5 milligrams increased the amount of growth hormone and other hormones that was released over the course of 24 hours by the pituitary gland. In short guys, mind your diet, mind your eating time and aid the body's own production by giving it the nutrients that it requires. And that takes us to the third thing you can do right now and that is exercise a lot of people around the world including myself are under lockdown right now so i have an exercise course that i normally sell and i really want you guys to really benefit from it so if you can't afford it money is an issue the link is in the description just click it and boost your growth hormone with some of these exercises and that's because exercise is a big key for human growth hormone key compound movements like deadlifts squats clean and press at high intensity has been shown to have a positive effect on growth hormone but not just that it's shown that exercise in general is good for human growth hormone so click the link in the description and work out wherever you are in the world work out with me i really hope it's beneficial and if you can support it by buying it please feel free to also the fourth thing you can do right now is work on your body composition as with testosterone, a key thing to boost both testosterone and growth hormone is to work on your body fat percentage. Research has suggested that lowering the body fat helps boost human growth hormone production and studies show that those whose growth hormone has declined faster than the average due to their weight, once they lost this weight, that their growth hormone returned back to normal. So guys, in summary, ensure you're not storing fat around the belly area or work on it eat well exercise burn this fat and your body you will thank you it's like an upward spiral you lose a bit more fat and then your body starts creating more growth hormone and with this growth hormone you're allowed or you're allowing yourself and helping yourself to build more muscle thus which burns more fat giving you the physique you want just in time for when we're out of quarantine all right guys so the last thing guys and a very important thing is sleep but how much should you sleep well it's recommended that you get between seven and a half hours to eight hours daily and there's a key reason for this this is because studies suggest that growth hormone productions happens in pulses all throughout the night so the first pulse happens within the first hour of you falling asleep and then after that it happens every three hours and this is really where the growth hormone gets secreted so if you're not getting enough sleep you're really doing yourself a disservice get adequate amount of sleep and your body will thank you. And what you find is some people struggle to lose weight. The key component that they're missing is sleep because sleep is messing with their hormones and the hormones is messing with how much they crave food and that craving food is affecting how they even respond to the food, which is like their blood sugar and insulin levels responses. So that spiral should be broken out of and how you can break out of it is sleep sleep is important i hope you guys are with me so far if you're with me so far just drop a like drop a comment let me know you're still watching and benefiting so guys those are key things you can do right now to start benefiting but it's worth also understanding some of the symptoms of low growth hormone and some of the most important symptoms include difficulty sleeping bolding or losing hair love handles or fat around the abdominal area a decrease in sexual function or interest but also decrease muscle mass and strength all these could be key symptoms of low growth hormone so without further ado guys let's get into the herbs the first herb is tribulus terrestris early studies in mice suggest that use of this herb resulted in stimulation of growth hormone secretion from the anterior pituitary gland this is a herb i've mentioned previously i've recently started taking it now for about a month and although i eat very clean i do believe that this herb has helped with fat loss from around the belly area and this is to do with its hormonal benefits 
it was shown in one study to help stimulate the pituitary gland and this is important for help with growth hormone secretion. Also it's worth noting that growth hormone production is controlled by a complex set of hormones produced in the hypothalamus and the steroidal saponins in tribulus tend to bind with the receptors within the tribulus of the brain helping the body balance hormones. So there's potentially good benefit here and this is a herb worth looking into further. The second herb is ginkgo biloba. This is one of the first herbs I bought back in 2012. It's a powerful herb and perhaps the next video on this channel will be a full benefits of ginkgo video and if that's something you want to see make sure you comment below make sure you let me know studies show that ginkgo could have a positive effect on growth hormone upregulation and it's worth noting that growth hormone is also in the brain a study in rats showed that ginkgo has a positive effect on growth hormone so this may show promise as always, remember, animal trials can't always be extrapolated to human, but this might show some promises. But guys, it's worth noting that human studies and herbs aren't as detailed or well explored just yet. So anything mentioned here is always good to consult somebody before you try it or make sure you do your own research and form your conclusions. Just think of this as a basis for further research. The third herb that might help you boost growth hormone production is a herb called fenugreek. Early studies show that this vegetable can stimulate the release of growth hormone and can also help boost energy levels. Both key things as a bodybuilder and as an athlete. One of these studies was a study conducted in rats in 2008 and what they found was rats fed fenugreek stimulate growth hormone release in the pituitary glands. Not many human studies have been conducted just yet but this potentially shows some good promise. But there are other studies that agree with this conclusion and particularly how fenugreek can have a direct impact on growth hormone by stimulating the pituitary gland. And this may help with the release of growth hormone but also luteinizing hormone as well as follicle stimulating hormone. Overall, this herb seems to be pretty promising for growth hormone. And if any of you guys have had an experience with this herb, comment below and let the community know your experiences. The fourth herb and the only herb out of these that I haven't tried is a herb called Olong tea. And key research suggests that this herb contains phenols that can boost the secretion of growth hormone. And this may show promise. All right, guys. In summary, guys, growth hormone is a key hormone for strength, muscle mass, and size. So to actually help boost your own body's production of growth hormone, it's great to look after your diet, monitor your eating times, avoid foods that are high in sugar, especially foods that spike the blood sugar. Don't eat too late, exercise, but also exercise at a high intensity is really, really beneficial for growth hormone. Also, ensure you're getting good sleep. Seven and a half hours minimum ideal. Also, the herbs that I've touched on have been shown in at least one study to have a positive effect on growth hormone. And these herbs include Olong tea, fenugreek, ginkgo, and tribulus tetris. So, if you enjoyed that video, make sure you leave a like. And if you wanna learn more about herbs, click on my face and get my herb guide. And before you go, make sure you check out these two videos right here and right here. It's Paulo Tote, certified herbalist, nutritionist, and I'll see you guys on the next one.